So it's been a pretty good week. Uh, last week we got the Supreme Court decision and the New York case. So we can kiss some assault weapon bans goodbye, some magazine bans goodbye. And today I got my first, probably only, uh, M1 Garand. It came in from the CMP this morning. I actually got a shipping notification last night at 7 o'clock. I had this in my hands at 10.30 this morning. So this video is just more an unboxing. We're going to talk about CMP a little bit. Take a look what I got. But basically, I ordered this back in uh, late September or early October of last year. I got a order confirmation, whatever you call it, email from them in middle of April. And then today is July 1st and I finally got it. I know some guys who are getting uh, the option to upgrade their field grade, which, which this is. Yeah, that's my light. They were getting the option to upgrade their field grade to service grade. Um, that came, I think, via phone call or an email. I did not get that email, so, or maybe I did, I just didn't pick up the phone, but I have a field grade here. So let me get out of the box and uh, I'll be right back. So like I said, this is a f uh, field grade. It's below a service grade. Some guys were getting calls to upgrade, I did not. I paid $650 for it, shipped. I think they, right after I ordered, they raised the price up to $700 and then they sold out in November, I wanna say. And currently the only options that you have to order one from the CMP is a red grade, which is below this, or a, I wanna say collector, or excellent grade. Now you can get an expert grade for 1100. That comes with a new stock, new production stock, and new production barrel. So let's see how this thing looks. Many hours later. Okay. Get one clip and some literature. Zerust, something. You get your order. I'm not gonna show you guys my address. Take a look at that. Yeah, so my order date shows as 4-23-22, invoice date 6-30-22. But like I said, my order did go out in October of 21. For anybody that's an expert on uh, M1s, actually this is not, I don't think this says anything. Here we have muzzle reading three plus, throat reading four, field grade, Date. All right, let's take a look at the gun. Grand thumb, here we come. Hmm. All right. You can tell it's my first one. Um, just kind of looking at it. Let's look at the, it is a Springfield Armory, obviously, and 600,000 serial number. The barrel does look to have a different finish than the, than the opera area down there. There are some things on it. I would say, and again, I'm not an expert in these things, but I would say there's gonna be some pitting on here, especially like the bolt release or whatever you call it. But it's, the receiver, I think, looks pretty good shape. The stock is definitely, has a lot of character. There is a lot of pitting and just flat out rust 
on the butt plate. I'll get some pictures, some paint, lots of things. I don't see chip missing here. So this is kind of definitely a thing what I was going for. I wanted the receiver to be in really solid shape and the rest of the gun um, shows character, which I think is pretty cool. Let me look up the serial number really quick. I think I misspoke. Figure, I think I was looking at numbers all day, that's why, but it's not a 600,000, it's a 60,000 serial number. So according to FultonArmory.com, a Springfield Armory that has a 60,000 serial number is an August 1940 production. So I think this was maybe somewhere overseas. I'm not sure. I would love to hear if you guys know more information, like if this was in Korea, if this shot at commies too, or just Nazis, that'd be pretty cool to know. Um, but yeah, I do have a sling. This was meant to be an M16 uh, clone, A1. I'm not sure if it will fit on this. I'll give that a shot at some point. Definitely need a uh, need some more clips. Have some ammo. I think ammo has come down in price now, which is good. Um, and maybe some web gear. Don't uh, do this at home, but I'm just curious to see what the barrel looks like. Looks pretty shiny. I'm pretty happy with that. There's definitely some marks down here. Um, I might get some, try to get some pictures. And if you guys know what those mean, I would love to hear that. I gotta say, this is pretty, pretty freaking cool, guys. So I'll get some pictures. Um, we do have some Garand footage. The one Garand that's on the channel that is a service grade that was purchased years ago by the other um, CP on the channel. Uh, I'm sure I'll get some videos of this um, at the range, uh, hopefully in the next uh, couple weeks here. Thanks for tuning in guys. Oh, you know what? Let's try the trigger. Definitely like a two stage. Ooh. Talk about a negligent. That is a light trigger. Wow, that's like Geisley SSA quality trigger. That is that's impressive. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a uh, an off the cuff video. I was waiting to do this all day. Do have to work and finally got the chance to take it out of the box and pretty, pretty cool.